Burgess writes in Little Wilson and Big God being the first part of the Confessions of Anthony Burgess. In 1944, the evacuated females began to return. There were a great number of pert and pretty and over-scented Gibraltarian girls, and they required education. The nuns and Christian brothers who looked after the schools had scuttled off, resentful of possible German air raids on Irish neutrals, and they had not yet returned. So it was left to the army to invite these girls to evening classes and thus augment the statistics. I was ordered to teach them French. They giggled and would not learn. Some of them left after the filling in of the register. The class was an alibi. They wanted to giggle at boys in the main square, which was called the Martello or Hammer. Those who stayed were a torment with their brown bosoms and cheap perfume. I was repressed. We were all repressed. Repression showed clearly when the time came for the wearing of khaki shorts. I committed a terrible crime one dark evening at the back of a Nissan hut in the Alameda Gardens. I grabbed a girl and hungrily kissed her. She yielded briefly, then loudly screamed. This was the brutality of the colonial oppressors. Other girls came and pounded at me. I drooped. I nearly wept. I was ashamed. I was also resentful. I feared official complaints at gubernatorial level from the girl's parents. I feared a headline in the Gibraltar Chronicle. Fortunately, she said nothing. She needed the alibi of the class. She wanted to give her kisses to a boy called Gomez or Holgado. <laughs> 